Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Israel has only one mission, the complete destruction of Hamas. And it does not intend to stop until the goal is achieved. It seems that Israel is preparing for a ground attack. Okay, let's get started with the details and updates of the war. This is Krishni Dunayat. Netanyahu meets IDF troops at Gaza border and assures readiness for ground invasion. With fighters in the field, Israel's Prime Minister said they have only one task, to defeat Hamas and will not stop until the task is accomplished. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu interacted with IDF soldiers on the front lines on Saturday and assured that the soldiers are ready for the next step. He is aiming the total destruction of the Hamas terrorist. We know that Israel responded to surprise attacks by the Hamas group on October 7 with a full-scale ground and air military offensive in Gaza. The bloody fighting between the two sides has claimed more than 5,000 lives so far. Hours after Hamas terrorists fired rockets into southern Israel last weekend, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared a state of war and vowed to retaliate with the utmost force. Now, Israel will not stop attacking targets in the Gaza Strip until Hamas is completely destroyed. Prime Minister Netanyahu told and assured the soldiers of the late Yahalo unit the same on Tuesday. Speaking to the Israeli Special Forces at the Emmanuel base in southern side, Netanyahu assured the troops that they are waiting for the next phase of the war, adding that the war will not be taking long time to happen. During his visit to the southern base, Netanyahu was briefed on the unit's operation since the day of the October 7 mass incursion by Hamas terrorists and the subsequent massacre of Israeli civilians. Commanders of the Yalom unit presented the Prime Minister with the unit's elite operational capabilities in underground combat and explosive ordnance disposal. We are attacking the enemy with overwhelming force. Monday's attack on Gaza was the hardest blow the enemy has dealt to date. He added that they have killed dozens of terrorists, maybe even more. And at this moment, they are examining the full extent of the damage they have done. Netanyahu noted that the Israeli army is attacking in other areas in the north and in the West Bank. He added he greatly appreciates the willingness of the soldiers to save their country from the Hamas beast and is confident that they will succeed. 